At a media briefing, the deputy minister said phrases such as the disabled, the blind, handicapped, crippled and wheelchair bound are some of the words used when referring to people with disabilities. The ministry is working on a document to ensure universal language use among the media and society at large to nature this call. As an office, we also feel that we have not done enough yet to provide you with information on the use of appropriate terminologies that foster the protection of the dignity of persons with disabilities. At the briefing was Leticia Bauer, who is visually impaired and has a trained guide dog that assists her. She experiences discrimination at certain shops and restaurants, she says with her guide dog Nathan. Um, I have experienced various types of, of, of discrimination and it got to a point where I, who got my guide dog specifically so he could assist me, had to decide to leave him at home while having to go to different shopping malls, restaurants and things like that, which is against what I signed in the contract. As a wheelchair user herself, the deputy minister said she will not know how to manage if told to go somewhere and leave a wheelchair behind. This same scenario, she said, applies to Leticia's use of her dog as a guide. That is the reason I felt we needed to get the message across urgently because we do not want our people to experience human rights violation of this nature. Selima Henok, NBC News, Vantuk.